Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 33 where we look at what my tentative plans are. But before we do that, let's look back at Game Week 32 and see which managers did well. Top scorer in the Midnight Mule Mini League for Game Week 32 was Jake Vockings with rice pudding and 87 points, which is very good. That was Captain Havertz 28, Watkins 13, Salah 8, Haaland 8, Raya 6, Wood 6, White 5, Palmer 5, Tarkovsky 5. So very good. And on the bench, nothing. We have a new leader in our league. That's Ephthymios Christofi. And I apologise, I usually mess names up with Encucumber. Hopefully I've got that right. They got 67 points this week. That was with Captain Salah 16, Saka 10, Haaland 8, Gabrielle 6, White, Sun, Palmer, Darwin all got 5. And on the bench there was Sarabia for 7 points, but I think most of us would have played the players that were played instead of Sarabia, so I think that's alright. As for me, I'm down in 121st, I managed 80 points. That was Havertz 14, Watkins 13, Palmer 10, Saka 10, Pickford 8, Salah 8, White 5, Darwin 5 and Aiton Nori 4. Now, I was hoping to captain Watkins, but I did also say if it looked like he was definitely playing. And by the time it came around to the deadline, he was on 75% chance of playing, but I was still a bit nervous. What if he only gets 45 minutes? Which is why I went for Palmer. But that's just what happens. But I, I don't feel too bitter about it because he was flagged, so 13 points is all right. And a lot of managers have already dumped Watkins, which is quite funny. And a lot of managers haven't still haven't got habits yet, which is also a bit funny. Well, I think it's funny anyway. And on the bench, nothing. But to be fair, Foden, Gusto and Trippier didn't even play. So that was quite easy. So that was a green arrow, which is nice. I'm now 265 points behind top spot. So if I can outscore top by 38 points a week from now and the end of the season, I can still win this whole thing. Now in the cup, we were watching Lucas Eriksson, but they got knocked out this week by Pranav Rane with Action Jackson. So let's look at that team. That was Captain Palmer 10, Dubsaka 10, Dubravka 9, Haaland 8, Gabriel 6, Darwin 5 and Aiton Nori 4. And then nothing on the bench. In the Fantasy Challenge League, the top was Anne Chakla with Prison FC with 105 points. Now I did actually make a team up this week. If you're wondering why I'm not on this page, it looks like I didn't press save, which is a bit crazy. So I've made sure I've saved my team this week. This is a new league every week, so you can just enter a random team and hey, you might get a mention. So look at the team now. Captain Salah of 32, because United and Liverpool players got double score. Fernandez 18, Luis Diaz 14, Darwin 10, Zinchenko 6, Palmer 5, Pickford 8, Garnacho 4, Hoyland 4. And nothing on the bench. For everyone who watches these videos, thank you very much indeed. And also thank you for your likes and your subscribes and your comments, but mostly for watching them. Now on the FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League and Ben Krellin is currently top with a very impressive 2,067 points. FPL Fran, who was leading this for a long time, he's now down in fourth place. Mark Southerns is seventh. And good old Harry's back on the page. He's eighth with 2,013 points. As for me, I'd be all the way down in 55th, which is a few positions and points below. Dan, FPL mate. I should think a lot of you <laughs> have seen him. He's full of energy and he talks very fast. And I find himself, his stuff quite interesting. He sometimes has some useful insights, but he's certainly a good entertainer. So transfers, what are my thoughts? I have two free transfers and I'm very tempted to simply burn a transfer, which I know is a bit crazy. A lot of managers are maybe looking to take hits over the next few weeks to get their teams right and lots of double game week players. But I have made the mistake before, there was one week in particular last season where I didn't really know what to do, wasn't sure I had to do anything. So I made a transfer just because I could and it was the wrong thing to do. So I think there are times where if your squad is all right, you can burn a transfer. That said, there are some moves I could do. I could, for example, take Connor Bradley and swap him for Virgil van Dijk. 
Now, the logic behind this would be in game week 34, we're expecting Trent to be back, which means Connor's not going to get much of the double. He may get a few minutes in both games. He may just get 45 and 1, whereas Van Dijk should get 90 in both games. So, for that reason, Van Dijk should be more secure points than Bradley. The downside of this is, one, it uses a transfer, but I guess that doesn't matter. But also, two, it does tie up a bit of money because Van Dijk's a couple of million more, but I can afford that. Another option, and I could have done this last game week, is swap Watkins for Haaland. Haaland's at home to Luton this game week, and he should have a double in probably game week 37. Watkins has no more doubles left. And Man City do have some nice fixtures coming up. To fund this, I'd need to lose Trippier, who's currently injured, and probably bring in Branthwaite. Now, Trippier in a week or two should be back, and Newcastle do have nice fixtures, including a double probably in 37. Branthwaite has a double in 34, so that takes care of my Bradley problem where I've probably not got Bradley playing two games. But I'm alright to play Watkins in game week 34 when he'd be at home to Bournemouth. But if I don't do this transfer and then Haaland gets a massive score, or even just 15 points, he's going to be heavily captained. That's going to massively work against me. So that's going to be really bad if I don't do this. But if I do do this and Haaland just gets 7 or 8 points... And I'll probably regret doing it. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But there are European games before the deadline. And any of the players in my squad could well get injured by then. Or we may get some something in the news conference that's interesting. So I'll almost certainly not do a transfer until Friday night or Saturday morning in any case. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, <laughs> I, know, I know content creators say, let me know in the comments what you think about blah, blah. But I would be genuinely interested to know what you'd think about the transfers I should be doing here. So the way my team is looking at the moment for game week 34, if I burn the transfer, which is probably the outcome I'm slightly favouring at the moment, then I'm thinking Salah, home to Palace, he could get to wear the old mule hat with his mates Bradley and Darwin. And then Havertz is the vice captain at home to Villa with his mates White and Saka. Now I may well swap those two around and make Havertz my captain, but... That's how I've got things at the moment. And then Petrovic at home to Everton with his mate Palmer. And I've got Foden at home to Luton, so at least I've got some Man City interest. And I've got Isaac at home to Tottenham. So I'm thinking if I brought in Haaland, I'd be putting Isaac on the bench. But Isaac at home to Tottenham. Tottenham aren't great defensively. Isaac could easily get a couple of goals. So swapping Isaac for Haaland may not be great anyway. And then I've got Aiton Nori. He's currently flagged away to Nottingham Forest. And I've got him for his attacking potential. And then on my bench, I would have Pickford away to Chelsea. Watkins away to Arsenal. And if he came on, that was all right. I've got Gusto at home to Everton. And the reason I'm not playing him, or one of the reasons, is I've already got Pickford at home to Everton. And I don't want to double up because Chelsea seem to let in goals against anyone. And then Trippier, who's currently injured. And then as for the background picture, well, there was a solar eclipse today going across North America and it died out in the Atlantic. But apparently, if you're in the southwest of England, you could still see the very last bit of the solar eclipse as the sun went down. But of course, any evening when you can still see the sun, you could fake a solar eclipse by putting a football in front of the sun as it goes down and get a partial eclipse. Maybe not quite the same, but hey, <laughs> I had to do something for a picture. And there we have it. That's what happened in Game Week 32 and my plans for Game Week 33. I say plans. I don't know yet. I could even do something else, but I don't know what. My, I'm all right with my team, but I'm obviously very exposed and not having Haaland. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have fun sorting out what you're going to do for Game Week 33. Thanks. Bye.